What is up, you guys? It's Sarah Herring here for Poker News, and I'm here to just give you the latest on the newest addition to the Heads Up Battle Streak that we've been seeing over the course of 2020 and 2021. I for one love it. This is some of the best entertainment we could have during this pandemic time. And one of the players that, you know, I've been covering over the course of the last decade in poker that, you know, never ceases to amaze me is Fedor Holtz. Now, as I was scrolling through his Twitter the other day, I discovered this gem of a video. Yo, Victor, what's up? I see you're getting crushed by Stefan in your heads up challenge. How's that going? My condolences. Before he takes all your money, I just want to get back to that offer you made on Joe's podcast to play me drunk whenever I want, whatever stakes I want. So yeah, let's fucking do it. I challenge you. So clearly the challenge did not start here. I did a little digging and this is something we've also been hearing about lately, but Vitor Limitless Malinowski seems to have issued a heads up challenge to essentially anyone in the poker world. And this all seems to have stemmed from or started from something he issued on Joey Ingram's podcast. And during this podcast, he very specifically called out Fedor Holtz. And like, I can offer also playing drunk. Like I can drink on the stream, like I drink a whole <laughs> bottle of wine and I can play Fedor heads up any stakes he wants. It's, it's actually a deal. Like I'm not going to back off. So. If he wants to accept, no problem. Like, we can do this stuff like this. Play anybody in the world heads up right now at any stakes they want. Anyone else, 100%. Mm -hmm. And Linus, like, up to 40k now, I think I can play. I, I love a guy who can drink a bottle of wine and still play some poker. Now, Limitless is, of course, known for playing at the very highest stakes, heads up, no limit. And, in fact, has decided not to play lots of events because they just simply were not enough for him, which he's showcased throughout his career. And we know Fedor Holtz more traditionally from the you know live tournament circuits. That being said, he just recently had a victory in the 25K heads up on GG Poker. And it was just after this victory, in fact, that Vitor sent him another little needle and laid some pretty solid odds. Hello, champ. So are we gonna play some heads up? I'll offer you three big blinds per 100 extra 1K USD per hour and I'll be drunk. For two bottles, 200, 400, or 500, 1,000. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Now, Limitless has a ton on his plate already since he has essentially challenged the entire poker world. And he's currently engaged in a pretty crazy battle against Russian sicko Stefan Burakov. Now, Burakov on February 23rd posted on his blog a graph of what's been going down in their sessions, exactly the parameters. It's a little bit unclear what's been set up, but it looks like they have a million dollar max loss with maybe a match of that much in Bitcoin. Um, and according to what Butterkov posted, he has just been crushing Limitless. So the question is, did Fedor maybe, you know, smell some blood in the water and decided to issue the challenge back? Maybe that's where we are at the moment. And it doesn't seem to be stopping Limitless one bit because he responded to Fedor, I'm waiting for you, baby. Hey Fedor, I'm sitting waiting for you every day. You know where to find me? For now you only talk. How about you just get your two best students? I can play three of you, same time, two tables each. Any amount of hands you want. You only talk. Be careful what you wish for, man. I'm here, I'm waiting. Anytime, just join me. Just message me and we can play. So after all of this back and forth and all of this digging, the question was, is this going to happen? We spoke to Gigi Poker a couple of days ago who said they were going to try to facilitate and it looks like it is on. We're kicking it off this Friday, March 5th. It already has a page. Parameters have been set. This is supposed to be the face-off to end all face-off. And I, for one, am super excited to see it, not only because this is going to be a ton of really, really great poker. It's going to be a lot of money but there's also potentially going to be a little bit of drunkenness. So all things I'm in for and all things that should be very entertaining. I'll put a link below for you guys to find more details and so that you can also be sure to tune into all the action. Thank you guys so much. You're watching pokernews.com.